So on the last video, video number two, uh, I show everybody how to how to get a token uh, using this class that I have here as an API get token. So everybody should know how to do this part by now. So now we're gonna actually gonna call the Shopify API um, just to show you how, what I did. So what I did is I created an, a folder called service. You can name anything you want. And then under that, I created a class, which is Shopify client. You can name it anything you want. And here we have a client, a request, a shop and a token. So when you start this class, yeah, initiate the class, make sure you get one word or the other, the shop and the token. So when you make the call, like for example, get product count, you can call the API and then pass the token here, the shop here, and then you can re get a, the count of how many products you have in the shop. So I'm gonna run this real quick. Um, here I'm taking the token from the app settings, which is not, I'm gonna say that again, it's not in the uh, web config, it's not there. It's somewhere else that I can show you real quick. It's right here. On, in my case, it's under YouTube, YouTube settings, app settings. So make sure your token is not, is not in the web config file. So here I can, you can see I'm just passing on my demo uh, shop and then the token and I'm gonna get the count. So I'm gonna pause here and here. I'm gonna let this run. Apologize for the background noise. Uh, I'm gonna hit continue. And as you can see here, I return zero because on the store, I don't have any products yet. So I'm gonna make another um, video. I'm sure if you, you have questions, but it's pretty straightforward. Your REST client basically gets the, the URL where you're calling, the resources, it's a get, and then you pass your access token for the store you're calling for. And as you can see here, I'm using dynamic because it's only returning a JSON with account property and then the value. You could create a class for that if you want, instead of dynamic. That's option or depending on what you need. But that's all what I got for right now. And if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment on the video. Thanks for watching.